the Amiga 3000. Beautiful cabinet, beautiful design, beautiful computer. We all love it. But look at this, guys. This is Amiga Abomination. Look at this. Look at the paint job. This is how you destroy something beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I just get so sad everything I see these Amiga 3000 cabinets. It just kills me. As you can see this one, it's got these drilled holes. These Amiga 3000s, they were in the production, they, they were used for production on Amiga games. A game called Google and I don't know what, what else. So they, they were all stacked in a big, the story is they were, they were all stacked in a big closet and um, they were all just spray painted black. So I got four of these Amiga 3000s and four Amiga 4000s. Some of the top covers were, were missing and uh, the others, they just, they look like this, guys. So this is so sad. I have no problems with those four drilled holes. I'm not gonna cover them up. They're just for extra cooling, extra ventilation. They're just perfectly fine with me. No trouble with that. But this black paint job, it looks awful. I made another YouTube video last summer and I got so many, I mean, uh, some said just repaint them black. Some said uh, fill those holes up and spray painted white. Some said just buy some brake fluid and just put it on there and it will uh, clean off that black uh, color. If you actually use something strong, you can actually, you, you can actually, they have used so, uh, I mean, the, the, the quality of the paint is, is just so bad. You can actually scrape it off. Um, it's not, it's not hard to remove, but still it, I don't, I don't think I would, uh, I could make it nice enough. As you can see, that's the that's the original color inside there. So I've been thinking about what to do with these because they are just stashed at my friend's place. I really don't know what to do with them. Um, I love the Amiga 3000, but it's just... They're not giving me any kind of happiness, you know, <laughs> as they are right now. So... With this series, I have found out the solution that I want to do. Well, the front here, I have no idea to what to do with the plastic front. I mean, it could be so great if they remade big box Amiga fronts. That would be amazing. I know there's much more money uh, on doing with the Amiga 500 so much more uh, also on the Commodore 64 they were sold in millions and all that I know but just these front covers I I, I don't retro bright and I have no trouble with people that does it um, no uh, full respect retro bright all you want but I don't want to do it uh, first of all the yellowness it will come back again second of all it makes the plastic more brittle and I really don't like that idea so please make some remakes that would be great so the plastic part i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but the metal part i have found a professional uh, powder coating company and we talked back and forth and all that and uh, i actually got powder coated last year um Amiga 4000 uh, cabinet tops and we could not hit the original uh, beige Amiga 4000 cabinet color and I don't know it looked weird <laughs> really really weird I, I, I didn't like that so what I'm gonna do 
actually. As you can see, my, my home, everything is white. I love everything white and clean and all that. So I'm gonna powder coat the metal parts of the cabinet white. As white as they can get, I mean, just white. <laughs> Uh, not uh, imitating this color, no, nothing like that. Just bright white. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to find somebody that can paint these uh, uh, white, also these plastic fronts, because uh, I don't know how to do it. So that's the main idea. So I'm going to disassemble everything, pull off the uh, front and uh, there's some stuff inside. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have these powder coated guys. So join me on this one and let's see how it's gonna work out. Fingers crossed. I hope they will uh, take good care of them. <laughs> I had a long talk with the company that's gonna powder coat the cabinets. And there were just so many awesome colors. They had this incredible gold <laughs> coat. Uh, painting with gold leaves inside it, it looks crazy they had these um, black with metallic black with lava stones in that that looked incredible and I was and I, I was just hooked on every diff they had this crazy lime color and some different things guys but they're gonna powder coat so the front of the Mega 3000 is as you all know is plastic and um, and I and when I talked about that, that then they told me that they had these these special colors. Uh, they they got it made specially for them, so it won't be easy for me to find the same color for the for the cover here. So I just went back to my original idea. I also asked about you know this beige, but the cabinet is another beige and the other cabinet I came with was uh, a, a, a little bit yellowed and as you can see it's light here and darker down there and I mean they showed me some different uh, uh, different paint colors that could look like this but I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna hit that color and and I'm telling you guys, I could never ever dream about taking Amiga 3000 and just paint the cabinet. No way, I'm all in for original. But, but I mean, looking like this, I know you understand why, I'm, why I am doing this. Because, can I see Amiga? Yeah, it says Commodore Amiga just underneath there. Well, I really have no other options. So, I went out with this one as you can see this white it's incredibly bright white and it's the color scheme the code is rel 9003-80 and the 80 is for this glare thing and and, and he said that um, the texture will be like this. It won't be just like the original because the the, the texture on the cabinets they're um, they're not smooth. So these cabinets will be really smooth on the top, and um, and he said that they will take good care of it. It's gonna be uh, sand. Um, we say sand placed <laughs> in Danish. Sand. They're, they're gonna. What's it called? Yeah. They're just gonna prepare it, remove all the old paint, so it's gonna be only the metal case left, and then it will come into it. They showed me a big chamber, so they high pressure um, paint, magnetic paint that just in some kind of reaction sucks the the paint until everything metal in that chamber it looked amazing <laughs> so i just i saw the whole fabric it, it i really wanted to film everything when i think about it now it it, it, it looked great guys but uh, yeah i'm really really looking forward to the end result so this is gonna be part one of the video and i'm gonna get my cabinets back mid next week and I will uh, update you guys 
but still I don't know what to do with these plastics. I'm gonna drive around to different, I don't know, auto painters and something, something uh, and uh, get these professional paint. I'm, I'm not gonna just spray paint them just like the other guys did. I mean, these are too much valuable for me, guys. The Amiga 3000 is just, yeah. So it's gonna be done the proper way. I wish. I mean, I could I could remove the color up here, but down here, in there, it's just. If there were some some kind of magic paint remover that didn't destroy the plastic, and I could just put it down there, and it could soak in that remover and get out and have this original color, I would be so happy if something like that existed. But. I'm pretty sure it will destroy the plastic. <laughs> yeah, guys, so thank you for watching. This is part one. In part two, the cabinets will come back looking like this. Until next time, take good care of your Amiga 3000s. Do not paint them, guys. The original look is just incredible. Have a nice day. Retro Jango out.